Hi guys, it's Ben here and just 48 hours on from Liverpool's 4-0 win over Tranmere Rovers at Brenton Park, the Reds are set to take on Wigan Athletic in their second friendly of the pre-season campaign. So it was a convincing win for Liverpool on Wednesday night over Tranmere Rovers. There were no fresh injury concerns. Everybody looked pretty sharp. I think all Liverpool fans were quite pleased with what they saw. Dominic Solanke impressed on his debut. Henderson was back. Sturridge looked sharp. Ojo, Kent, Woodburn all looked really good. It was just lovely to see all these guys back in action. And we didn't have to wait long to see them again. Wigan Athletic are the opponents this time. They got relegated from the Championship last season. We played them in a friendly last summer and won by two goals to nil. And it looks like we're going to see Mohamed Salah this time. The new record signing from Roma is going to make his Liverpool debut after getting his work permit issue sorted out. This alone is enough of a reason to be excited for this fixture, not to mention the return of Philippe Coutinho and Adam Lallana. Those guys will get back into training, so no sign of them on Wednesday, but they are back in the side for Friday's game against Wigan. I think we also might see Ovi Ajaria and Harry Wilson. Simon Mignolet could also come back, but Danny Ward, Dejan Lovren, Alberto Moreno and Divock Origi are all carrying knocks, so we won't see them just yet. So this is Liverpool's last game before the Asia Tour. This is the last fixture against lower level opposition before we go out to play Premier League sides and Bundesliga sides later on during pre-season. Obviously a bit more of a test than Tramir here at non-league side. It was pretty much men versus boys out there on Wednesday night. Almost pointless really. Wigan gave us a decent game last season. I think we'll probably see something similar. A bit more competitive but Liverpool should have too much for them. Of course with pre-season it's all about getting fitness up and seeing how all these players are looking. Mohamed Salah of course will have all eyes on him. I'll be interested to see which wing he plays on. Will he play on the right? Because we don't know this season whether Mane will play on the right or Salah. Obviously there will be no Mane at Wigan but it'll be interesting to see where Klopp puts Mohamed Salah. And I do wonder if we'll get any more insight into Klopp's first team plans. I mean, we saw on Wednesday night with Trent Alexander-Arnold playing in that first team ahead of Nathaniel Klein, which was probably the most interesting thing about that night as far as team selection goes. That first half side was obviously much stronger than the second half, but it was Alexander-Arnold that got the nod to play in amongst those senior players rather than Klein. So I think Jürgen definitely wants to have as much of a look at him in that senior side as possible. Hopefully the defence will be tested a little bit more than it was on Wednesday night. I want to see how Gomez, Matip, Claven and everybody else are looking, particularly Joe Gomez, who obviously might go out on loan. We're not sure yet. Uh, he never really got tested on Wednesday night. He showed one or two nice touches, but I want to see what he's actually like physically at the moment. Looking forward to seeing Dominic Slanky again. I was really encouraged by his performance at Tramir and I want to see him get on a score sheet this time maybe. Some of the youngsters also looked good the other night. Woodburn, Ojo, Kent. Hopefully they'll get some more minutes here so we can have another look at those. So let's have a go at doing a predicted 11. I've not given this any thought before now so uh, I'm going to go with Mignolet in goal. I think he'll be back in the side. Alexander Arnold to keep his place. I think the back four will pretty much stay the same. I think it'll be Lucas, Matip, and James Milner. Obviously with Alana and Coutinho both coming back, it'll be interesting to see whether they both get thrust into the midfield. On Wednesday it was Henderson, Van Adam and Grujic, which obviously is a lot more physical than Coutinho and Alana and maybe Henderson. I'm gonna go with Henderson, Van Adam and Lalana as a midfield three. That was pretty much the first choice trio last season. And then Salah on the right. Coutinho on the left and Roberto Firmino up front. I mean, that is a pretty strong side. And the second half might look something more like Carius, Klein, Gomez, Clavin, Flanagan, Stewart, Grujic, Ajaria, then maybe Sturridge, Solanke and Kent. I don't know, I mean, that obviously leaves out Odger and Woodburn, so I'm probably wrong on those. I mean, there's a lot of players in there. They might give a couple of rest after Wednesday, rest some of the players up for the Asia Tour. School prediction, I'm going to go for another comfortable Liverpool win. I'm going to go with the exact same prediction as I went for for the Tramir game. I'm going to say 3-0 to Liverpool. Some more senior players back. The first half team probably will be ridiculously strong. The main attraction is going to be Mohamed Salah. I really want to see Solanke play well again and hopefully score. And I've of course, we're all excited to see the return of Lalana and Coutinho. Those guys are going to be huge for us this season. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for all this sort of stuff. I will have reaction to this fixture on my channel straight after the game. Drop a like for me, share the video, tell your mates, follow my other socials. It's Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.